Hello, back for part two. Um, so as you can see, I've um, got out of Earth's orbit, and um, I've separated a few stages, and now I'm at the point where I'm docking with the lunar module. Um, so yeah, let's see how my guys are doing. Yep, everything looks pretty good. Okay. Um, Let's unpause it. Okay, where is it? Time warp. Okay, here we are. It's about to dock. Almost safely docked. Yippee! Okay, so time to extract the lunar module and get to the moon. Um, okay, so I believe it's this one here. So here we are. We extracted it from um, current what stage it is. Big white thing that's coming out of. Let's wait for it. Um, I've also got a bit of a problem. Um, the way you um, maneuver the spacecraft is by um, using the buttons on the number pad. Well, I've got a laptop and we don't have a um, number pad, so I um, found it quite difficult. So, um, basically, what was, I got to this point, um, extracted it, turned around, but I could never, you know, dock with the, the uh, lunar module because, um, well, it's a bit hard to. Um, you know, control spacecraft, you know, to dock with um, the FN key, you know, you, which you use to emulate the numpad. So, um, what happened was I too um, actually um, jumped to this bit, you have an option in orbit. Well, still hard to explain. Okay, so um, we're safely out of there, out of the thingy, and uh, let's find the moon. Where is it? Right, there's the moon there. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got a bit of a problem now. I've got to make course corrections and stuff to get to the moon, you know, so on and so forth. But I've got a trick up my sleeve. I'm not going to, um, you know, do all the course corrections and, you know, the thruster things and, you know, what have you. Um, I'm going to use warp drive. Yeah, my Saturn V rocket came with warp drive. So, let's find that. Uh, so, we've got to go to the menu. Slept. Oh, I better go through all this actually. Um, this is the you know the bit where it shows how this is rocket science. This game. I have never seen a game where you actually have all this guff. Um, well, I want to say guff, actually, you need it. Um, that's the only part I understand really because um, I played a lot of Flight Simulator. Um, the map, yeah, I sort of get um, uh, VTOL vertical takeoff, sink orbit. Yeah, you get it. So here's this here. Our warp. Realistic warp drive it stands for. It's a mod. It doesn't actually come with orbiter. So, we need to put in a target. Moon. And we just warp it. Um, it uses fuel from the spacecraft, so if you don't have enough fuel, then you can't warp back to Earth, so I'm going to have to do corrections and shit to get back. So we go. This way, isn't it? Charging field. So it's now charging our warp field. And we're going to go to the moon. Accelerating. Wait, right, you see how fast it accelerates now, actually? See how fast that went?
that's because it's for us to go and loop here because we're trying to um catch the um time dilation as well. One. Might not get time dilation, might be too close. Let's see where we are. Ah, here we are. The moon. Well you can't see all the blue but I can. Well, I'm getting a bit too close, actually. You can't see the blue outside. I'm um, sorry, inside. There's Earth there. Destination and reached. Here's the moon. There's a bit of a problem with textures there, actually. So, there you go. Uh, cheating by using warp drive. Um, next video, I'll do some uh, course corrections getting you know, proper orbit so I can land the lunar module. I will see you then. Goodbye.